Evening folks, Charlie Tango 965 here again. We're not, um, not out on the hills or anything tonight, no radio as such tonight. Uh, we're in the workshop. I uh, was out last night, Monday the 17th, and made contact with uh, Gary, Charlie Tango 104, who is currently on CTX duties on Lundy Island in the Bristol Channel. So uh, if you're out and about with your PMR, um, have a listen for him. If you're out and about with your... Uh, CB 27 megahertz. Also have a listen out for him and uh, try and make that contact uh, onto the island. Uh, okay, tonight's video is um, a little bit of homebrew and also uh, a little bit of testing, uh, power testing really on a couple of rigs just to um, see what they're actually doing and uh, put my mind at rest really that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, dummy loads. Um, are the name of the game. Uh, dummy load, for those of you that don't know, is what's used uh, in the antenna side of a power meter to uh, accurately uh, show you what power you're uh, displaying. Um, I'm sure many of you uh, have seen the normal standard dummy load, which looks like that, which is essentially uh, just a normal sort of PL259 on one end, and on the other end there is a little light bulb and that actually lights up uh, when you key the mic. But these are only good for 5 watts. No, any more than 5 watts and that bulb is blown. So, uh, yeah, not ideal for what I want to test. I've got an Anytone 5, a triple 5 to test. And uh, they're purported to put out 40 watts uh, on the FM. So, I need something a bit... Uh, Something a little bit uh, more capable, really. It was just I don't know if you were heard that there. The Anytone was flashing that it had high battery voltage. So, uh, yeah, I've had to turn the old uh, charger off. So, uh, there we go. That warning works. Um, yeah, so we had to uh, come up with an idea of, of testing for more power. Now, you can buy dummy loads um, for, you know, 20 watts, 30 watts, 50 watts, 100 watts, a kilowatt, whatever you fancy. But uh, you do have to spend a bit of money, unfortunately. Now, Mr. 104 put a link up on the Facebook for some homebrew dummy loads, which is a glass jar essentially with some salt water in it. And um, I decided that I would uh, have a go at making my own. And uh, there it is. Yeah, that's it. That's the dummy load. It's um, an old glass jar converted over. And in true 965 style, it's NATO green. So we'll just open it up and you'll be able to see what's involved. It's nothing fancy. And you can see in there it's just uh, water. And mixed with that is some normal table salt. Um, I've, used, I've used that. Other salts are available. And you slowly add the salt to the water and uh, you mix it in until you achieve a perfect SWR. And once you've done that, that's it done. That's the solution made. And uh, the lid is just a SO239 connector. And on the other side, you can see, excuse my soldering, you've got one attached to the center pin, which goes down one side of the jar, and one is attached on the other side, which would be the outer of the coax, essentially. And that goes down the other side of the jar. And for the K, for the wire, I've just used this stuff here, which I'm sure you all know. It's twin and earth flex from your house. Um, just stripped off the live and the neutral. And soldered them on. So anyone who wants to have a go, that's all there is to it. So uh, that's that there. That connector, incidentally, um, if you want to know how they come or what they look like. Um, I have got a spare one here, so I can get it apart, there we go, that's what they look like out of the box. So uh, SO239 on one side, and you've got that connector in part, connection piece on the other side. So there we go, that's it, that's all you need to do. So I'm going to get set up and do some testing on the radios and uh, see what sort of power outputs we got. So we catch you back in a minute. Right, we're back. Um, I've got the uh, dummy load wired up now. 
Uh, obviously dummy load is connected to the antenna side of the meter and the radio is obviously connected to the radio side of the meter. Um, what I'm going to do first is use the Cobra. We'll just use the Cobra and we'll just see what um, what power that's putting out. I'll just zoom that in. There we go. Make sure it's on the 10 watt portion of the meter and we'll key the mic. This is purported to be putting out between 4 and 6 so uh, we'll see what happens. Five. Five watts. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be putting out. Anywhere between four and six. It should be four technically, but the chap I bought it from did say it's anywhere between uh, four and, um, and six. So what I'm going to do now is I'll swap the coax over and um, we'll give the Anytone a bash. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, so we've got the uh, the Anytone now plugged into the uh, the meter and the dummy load. Um, we're going to just have a quick test now to see what it's putting out. I'm going to do a 0 to 10 watt test first uh, and see uh, if it's doing what it says it should. Oops, sorry about that. See if it's doing what it says it should. So we're on zero power on the dial on the Anytone and we're going to key the mic. So about one... 1.3-ish watts on zero power. So I shall just dial it round and make sure. Oh, there's a big jump there. Between there and there. Big jump. You've got to be careful. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 watts. 10 watts. So, that is working fine. Absolutely no problems at all there. Um... As I was saying before, it's important to make sure you have the meter on the right setting. And um, if I was to now try that with it on the 100 watt setting, up to a 100 watt setting, you get totally different reading. So I'll key the mic. So there you go. Make sure it's on the right setting when you use the meter, otherwise you might think the radio is bust. So we'll put it on 100 watts, up to 100 watts, and um, I'm going to start the gauge back down at zero, the dial on the Anytone and key the mic and we should just dial it up so there's 10 20 30 40 so it's on 40 and I can still turn the knob a little bit so all the way around is 40 watts so it is putting out exactly what it's purported to do uh, 40 watts maximum output on the uh, UK FM so that is working a treat. I've got quite a few more uh, rigs to test, so I shall have a, an evening of testing shortly. Um, but uh, no, that's all working very well. Now, I've bought this meter because it's more accurate and it's more sensitive. Um, generally, obviously, the the, the regular meters that most of you be used to seeing are quite small and um, they're perfectly good enough for out on the hills whatever you're doing a bit of portable work if you're um, you're doing uh, SWR stuff absolutely fine and they look like that nothing wrong with those at all um, I really I do use them in the field obviously and uh, mainly for checking SWR. Uh, you can use them for a power check in the field, but they're not hugely accurate. Um, and obviously, you know, you get uh, you get what you pay for. So uh, I think these are only about six quid, uh, six or seven quid. That one was a bit more. I mean, that's not the best one on the market by any means. Um, but it's a bit more easier to read the scale than that one and it's a bit more e it's a bit easier to tell uh, what power is what when it's where it is so there we go just a quick uh, quick one tonight to show you a couple of checks that uh, the radios are doing what they're supposed to be doing and uh, mainly uh, that homebrew dummy load so uh, get out enjoy it have a go at some homebrew perhaps and uh, yeah see what your radios are actually putting out the other thing with those uh, meters, if you're going to use them for power testing, they're not so accurate. 
I did use this one last night to check the Anytone and this one told me it was putting out 50 watts which was twaddle um, so yeah I'm pleased with that that works a treat and uh, yeah that's really good I do like that that particular model does come with the ability excuse me to light up so uh, yeah that's pretty good I'm pretty pleased with that just quickly before I go, that's what that meter looks like uh, in the dark. That's pretty smart, I quite like that green. Very good. So there we go. Out again tomorrow night for Wednesday's net. Don't forget, channel 12 for the south and channel 10, I believe Gareth said, for the north. Uh, channel 12 is 27-71125. So, uh, We'll catch you next time around. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go QRT, and uh, we we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.